<laughs> That's true. <laughs> Good morning. It is. Yeah. Focus. Focus. <clears throat> oh, you can't see because my pretty smile is in the way. It's 5:43 a.m. Everybody's quiet because everybody's tired. They're not used to these ungodly hours of the a.m. So we're here. We're alive. See another day of training. Okay. What day of training is this? Day eight. Day eight. Yeah. So just waiting for our lovely instructor to come on in here, strutting with her jeans and polo on. <laughs> Yeah. I brought skinny pop and one of these things that's way too full of sugar because we didn't get breakfast at the hotel because the shuttle came at 5.30 and they're not going to give us breakfast here till 9 and I'm hungry so that's all I can find so anyways I think we have what are we doing? I got the gospel in my ear. I got to set the tone today because it's early in the morning. Today is day eight. So we're about to go down to the um, CRJ and do some stuff for until 9 a.m from six to nine, so for three hours we'll be on the plane doing stuff. We're supposed to get out of class today at three. We'll see if that really happens. Damn, we don't eat lunch till one o'clock today. This is how we ate yesterday, pretty much, what, 12, 30, 12, 40. Yeah, so here two hours yesterday. But we get breakfast at nine. Uh, yeah. Brittany's already hungry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the swim signs fool you. <laughs> okay, goodbye. This is what your YouTuber does. Which is also <laughs> hilarious. No shoes, no behavior. <laughs> About 10 minutes. Any word of advice to your fellow YouTubers? Make sure you get plenty of rest. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, this is the earliest day we have gotten out so far, but that does not mean it has been the shortest day. By far, God, not. It has not. So, it's 3.45 p.m. We just got back to the telly. And uh, Tad. No other word to describe. Tad. T i a d. T i yeah T i a a a a d. Tad. <sighs> so I think I talked to y'all this morning when we first got to class at those god awful hours of like five forty something whatever time we were there. Um. It's just long these days. Oh, it's just long days, y'all. Um, so what did we do today? Today we <laughs> I don't even know. My brain is just like what? Oh, so most of today was spent on the aircraft. Majority of today were I think I've already mentioned, but you know how these days go, they're all jumbled together, so I probably going to repeat a lot of things just forgive me we were on the CRJ today that is the first aircraft that we are learning or focusing on we fly three different planes um, and our class is focusing on the CRJ so today we got on the CRJ and um, learned the opening and closing of the doors and emergency exits the over wing exits um the passenger entry door and the service door um and we learned how to do the safety demo today too open blade hands that's something new for me we didn't do that before um so that's interesting i was like can i can i go pow pow she was like no no <laughs> 
So open blade hands pointing at doors and exits and stuff. So we did that and everybody got a chance to kind of run through um, the full safety demo doing the full safety demo and then we rotated and somebody ran and somebody did the demo and blah 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 so honestly what was better about today even though it was a long day it was an active day majority of the day we were up you know doing some type of motion so that was good um then we had a cute little quick one hour class with our onboard onboard something team anyways they're basically all about you know like customer service type stuff so we had a class with them today what did Preston and Jeff teach us about our customers yeah something about the customers I forgot what the class is called but yeah. something about the customers know your, know your customers yeah and the um we learned about customers um and then we had lunch and then we went back down to the aircraft and tomorrow is our first PV procedural validation. Mm -hmm. um, so basically we have to do a full on demonstration of evacuations tomorrow on the CRJ. Um, so yeah, so we practiced that today. My biggest struggle, which when I was in training with Fonda JetBlue, she used to always say, Ugh, or instructors really would always say, it's always harder for somebody coming from a different airline than somebody starting brand new because your brain, yeah, it's hard to unlearn and to forget, you know, old things that you've learned, especially when they coincide with what you're learning so well. So I just got to kind of study these commands that they say. A little more and get the old jet blue ones out of my mind and insert these new ones but honestly we so many people all 23 of us did it today um, so you heard it so many times it's kind of like already embedded in my brain I just need to make sure that you know I'm saying what's written down in our manuals verbatim and not um, adding S's or other words into the commands because the whole point of that is like you want to well, honestly, there's only two people and then one person saying one thing and the other saying another. But anyways, they just want you to say the, the commands verbatim because that is what um, the FAA has approved for our evacuation procedures. So anyways, I'm going to try to take like a little hour snooze real quick. It's 3.50. I'm going to be up by 5. I told Brittany we were going to do two and a half hours of studying of commands. <laughs> and Brittany laughed at her and looked at her upside her head. <sighs> it's really not going to take that long. Like, if we do our first run through and we get it down pat, we're probably good. It might take a time or two. But honestly, I really think. Did you have any issues with, like, knowing where to go for mm -hmm. FA1? No, I didn't have any issue with knowing where to go at it, all. Okay. It, was, it, was it was really just, just the, the command. The command. The verbiage, yeah. Yeah. And that's also because me and you went, like, well, we were one of the first, first people to go, yeah. so we didn't get to hear it over the, and over. Exactly. So the second one I heard over and over because I sat back there and buckled up everybody's jump seat, <laughs> and I heard it over and over yeah, and over. And the, yeah, the first the, one. Yeah, the first one I was, I, I know I was going to rock. The first one, people burned up in my plane. <laughs> I didn't even open the door, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Yeah, the first one I was okay with opening the door and turning on the emergency lights and even remembering to push in the jump seat. Like, yeah, I got all, all of that was no problem. It was just the commands because I was almost like release seat belts and I was like, we don't release seat belts here. We unbuckle seat belts. Um, no. Um, unfa unfasten. Unfasten. See? Unfasten. See? Unfasten. See? Unfasten. Commands. I mean, it's, it's all saying the same thing. You're telling the people the same thing, but you have to use the specific verbiage that the airline has in their their thing about bobber. And then once our instructor kind of told us, you know, that it's not a race, you can do it at your own yeah. pace. That helped. That That's helped what I kept lot. telling everybody in the back because they were, they were because they through. they pressure them, you know, mm -hmm. and they're trying to be helpful. So what happens is is you hear emergency, yeah, you're evacuous, you're like, I so have you want to be quick because yeah. in a real emergency you do need to be quick. But this is just a training period, so you don't have to 
rush through the process and what happens is is we do it one by one and everybody's sitting in the in the seats on the, the plane and you know they're trying to help people by you know giving them hints of what it is or yelling out you know the first word but it doesn't really help you because I was telling everybody I was like let them yeah let you them have to let it. people figure it out or remember it on their own if you keep just giving it to them they're not going to learn it like that's to me that's not a healthy learning process at all so anyways, neither here nor there. Everybody do their own thing. But yeah, we're gonna nap it out for a little bit. Go over some emergency commands. Tomorrow we have to be in class at the god awful hours of 5 a.m. Like butts in the seats in the classroom mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. That means the van comes at 4 30. We don't eat bre lunch breakfast until Nine? I'm usually an a.m. shower person, but I might p.m. shower tonight. If you should. And wake up at four o'clock. And throw on some clothes and be out, be at the van at four thirty. I think I can make that happen. I ain't got no hair. <laughs> I don't have to put no makeup on. And we're gonna be in the classroom except when we're on. Yeah. And that's. Oh, let me get my big head to block that. All right, y'all. So it is. 8 26 p.m just got back down just oh lord <laughs> just got back upstairs from eating dinner i did go down about seven o'clock and reviewed with some of the girls practiced our evacuation drills which we have our first procedure evaluation proceed procedure validation on tomorrow um, and that's really all the energy I got for it. Yeah. So, I'm going to set my alarm for an unmentionable 3.45 a.m. The shuttle comes at 4.30, so I'm going to take me a 15-minute shower in the morning. Because I was going to take a nighttime shower, but I'm definitely a morning time shower because I need to wake myself up. Um, and yeah, try to be awake. So the way that they're doing it in the morning is um, they're just doing two people at a time. There's a total of 23 of us in our class. So we'll just be sitting in the room while two people are going at a time. So I also have a little time to like review and go over the commands. Oh, I'm supposed to be blocking that. I also have a little, t am I blocking it? Yeah. I also have a little time to go over and review the commands and just make sure I have them down verbatim. I have like I was saying earlier, I've got the moves down. All of that is good. Just um, have to make sure. I'm sorry. Just have to make sure I say the right words. So yeah, Brittany's already in the shower, and I'm uh, I'm feel, I'm just I feel tired. I ended up taking a nap earlier, and it was so good to my soul. Like I woke up feeling um, confused. You know when those when you wake up and you don't know if it's the next day or what like where you at like all of that stuff <laughs> so um hopefully i can get a really good good night's sleep tonight even though it's gonna be short because i have not since i've been here i honestly have not gotten just a good night's sleep i've been waking up before the alarm and in the middle of the night twisting and turning not being able to go back to sleep and my sleep pattern is just off and I got to get it on some kind of schedule. So, good night. That's the end of the day. Whatever day they told y'all it was this morning. That's the end of this day. See y'all tomorrow. There we go. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to training day 9. 4.52 in the morning. And we are here. We are not quite awake, but we are in the classroom. The hotel gave us a little fruit and banana and granola bars. We don't have breakfast until... Eight o'clock. Well, lunch is at ten thirty. Wait, this can't be. What? So we finish breakfast at two hours later. And then we get out of here. At three. It is way too early. 
video. They should move this, but see, they can't be moving stuff around because the planes be booked. So, we should move like this saber workshop or something up and have a bench. No, whatever. I just have to hold on to my food until like. Brittany's struggling with her lashes as well. Anyways, ready to get this day started over with. No, no, babe, there's two of them. And I ain't had a banana in months. These days just be running together in so long that I can't remember what we have done. Yeah, I can't remember what we've done. Yeah, I can't remember what we've done. Yeah, I can't remember what we've done. Yeah, I can't I can't remember what we've done. Yeah, 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 I can't remember what we've done. Well, Brittany and I passed our PV today, our first procedural evaluation on the CRJ aircraft. We had to um, do a do our evacuation drills as the first flight attendant and second flight attendant. We both did both positions and we both passed. Hallelujah. <sighs> so they claim that's the hardest aircraft, so we knocked that one out first, so that's cute. Um what else we do? Today was just a long day, so y'all know we got up at the ungodly hour of three whatever. It wasn't even the crack of dawn, okay? Dawn wasn't cracked yet. Dawn was still asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dawn had not cracked. Um but we were there. Breakfast was gross. Oh. So the place that feeds us lunch gives us breakfast the days where we don't get breakfast at the hotel. But it's like, you know what? They didn't even chop my turkey. I had a uh, a breakfast burrito with turkey, potato, and cheese. And it's really like just the turkey deli, like the, the deli meat just rolled up in the wrap. Like lunch meat? Lunch meat! <laughs> Yes, I was like, what is this? And that's not even what I asked for. I asked for ham. So, whatever. That's neither here nor there. We're not paying for food, so let me stop complaining. Um, so... We were behind on schedule. Our lunch was... <laughs> we were behind on schedule. We were so... They had breakfast scheduled at 8 to 8.30. Or 8.30 to 9. Something silly. 8 to 8.30. And so we got that on time, and then they had breakfast. I mean, lunch was scheduled for like 10:30 to 11:30, but that whole hour got bypassed because they moved our whole schedule around. Um, I mean that was okay because I wasn't starving yet, but it was just a long day, and we just wanted the like mental break, really. You know, not necessarily the food break, but just the break from learning in the moment. That didn't happen. Um, at that point in time, we did, we learned our self-defense moves, moves on the dummy. I wanted to vlog that, but I didn't have my, I didn't have anything with me at the time. I had to take off my Apple Watch. Oh yeah, because we did a security class today. Nothing that I can tell y'all about the security class, because why? It's security. Um, but we did a two-hour security class today, had to put up all paper all devices and right after security class they rolled us down to the cabin trainers um, and that's where the little self-defense practice dummy is so we learned you know different positions how to fight the dummy what tools you can use on the aircraft to protect yourself i.e. a coffee pot a fire extinguisher the O2 tool, the thing that opens the oxygen mask things. You can shank somebody with that if need be. You know, the, the ice mallet. Like, we got to use all of those things to beat up the dummy. Um, we They showed us, you know, little punches and karate chops and knees to the balls and all of that stuff. What else did we do? Oh, we went over... Um, planned evacuation so we don't really have not don't really we don't have a test or a procedural evacuation over that one because it's planned and you literally read just read it thing. from the manual but you know we still need to practice it because it's very 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 detailed um 
then after that we went back to class and the lovely lady named Charita, Charita, um, came and talked to us about, I don't I, you know, she was a very sweet lady. Flight operations. She talked to Brittany about flight operations. I have no idea. <laughs> you didn't wake up till she mentioned the moolah, baby. <laughs> she started talking money and then I was all ears. Um... I, I genuinely don't know what she was talking about. She was talking about... It was flight operations and like, um... The flight reports. Oh, yes. Yes. You know, how to do certain... She's she's all about procedures she, and manuals. She, she she's in that... Did our idea. Yeah. She's in that department that creates all procedures in manuals. So, she just did a brief overview of some things. Um, but I just liked her personality. She's very real. You know, she clicked. She had been a flight attendant um, with the mainline airline prior to 9-11. She got furloughed. Um, she's, and so she's been here at our region. I think she said like 17 years or something now. Um, so I, just, I liked her, but it was the end of the day and I was tired. So, you know, my, my, my eyelids was heavy. My neck was bobbing. But then she started talking a few things about the coinage, and I started listening. Um, and then we have another test tomorrow, a KV, a knowledge validation. Um, so 50 question, multiple, 50 multiple choice questions on the computer tomorrow. Um, which just really came out of nowhere, y'all. Like, I didn't realize we had that test until this morning, so... Me and Brittany are going to have to do a little studying. We might go downstairs with um, Chloe and the girls later and study for that test. Oh, and then that, I just cannot wait till Friday. One Lion King comes out and we already bought our tickets to go see it. And I get to go see that. And it's just a day off. These days are long and they're intense and they're full of so much information. And it's just draining, honestly. It's just draining. So yeah, that I don't. I mean, anything else I want to tell you? Um, yeah. Well, oh, everybody, every the whole class. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me not speak on that yet. I was gonna say the whole class passed their um, PVs, their procedural validations, but I don't know what class A did. The other half of our class. You know, we're split up in two classes. I have, we haven't seen them all day, so I don't know what they did. Um, so maybe I'll get an update about that after dinner, and I will fill y'all in on if we lost any people or we're still sitting at 45. All right. You don't want this up in your YouTube. You get a whole different customer. <laughs> and Britt, we ate dinner. Now we're studying like good students. Like the good students that we are. Carry on, Lance, carry on. They don't know shit. <laughs> Fly together, die together. Die together, die together. I said that yesterday. I'm not dying. I'm not time. Unless God calls me home. Get out. Go, go. Don't take anything with yesterday you. Yesterday, when I was doing flight attendant two, and I forgot to open the door, I was like, shit. Fly together, we die together, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'll be like, hey, follow me. I'll be out on the wing. <laughs> you, standing on the wing. Everybody follow me. <laughs> okay, back to study. Okay. Is it the ballpark? Give me numbers. Give me numbers. Row one, or is it row one? There's row, row one, 13. It's two oh, of them. I said row, yeah, 13. No, I have 12. But you have to look at it. I mean, if it's if there's water seeping out, clearly don't open it because you're gonna sink. Right. When do you use your lifelines? Water. Ditching only. Yes, Ditching. exactly. Very good. Y'all.